Well, I've got a few things going on here today in the lab. It's, uh, it's Saturday, so I'm slumming today a little bit, but um, trying to do a little catch up here. And I got an interesting project yesterday. I've got two of these knuckles in, these casted knuckles. Um, there's a right hand and a left hand. And what this client wants to do is they want to test the casting datums to the first datums that are machined, back to the ABC. So pretty simple to do inside of Polyworks. I've got V14 open, but I've got my drawing right here. I wanted to show you a couple things. Notice here, this, uh, this true position and this composite position, AB, these criteria are what we're checking along with a couple other things too. But what I wanna do is I'm, I'm measuring, or I'm doing a laser scan on both of these. And what, I, what I've done is I've started with the left one since my CAD model was on the left. But what I want to show you today is if you have a part that is truly symmetrically opposite, how we can make one of our workspaces or one of our projects, um, everything that we want to measure in there, all the report is cool, everything is done and it's complete. And my clients actually signed off on that report and said that's exactly what I needed to see. So now what I want to show you guys is how to take that exact project, create another project that's a mirror that would do this right hand knuckle and, and go through all the exact same alignment, same, um, same pictures, everything in the report, all the features for measurement, identical. The only difference is it's mirrored. So I want to show you guys that in Polyworks here. So jump in, I've got V14, I'll run here to Polyworks. Okay, so I've got this left knuckle. You can see I've got all my features on there. I've got this best fit surface profile in here, I, so I've done a color map on this thing, so it is pretty, uh, pretty dialed in. Let me deactivate that a second. But what I want to show you is after my report, I'll pop that open here too. So my report, I've got that all dialed in. But what is so cool is now that I've got this other part, this right hand part, the only thing I want to do is I want to create another project Oh, you can probably hear that in the background. I've got Pink Floyd on today too. So just got done listening to some Modest Mouse. I've got Radiohead on today. So pretty laid back in the lab for a Saturday. Now what we got here is everything is cool in my model tree exactly the way I want it. So I want to make myself another project that is the same as what this, but mirrored. So come up to here, the file pull down menu, this little item here, create nominal project. So if I punch on him, this little dialog box comes up here. It's going to create a nominal project, but this time I want to mirror that project. And as soon as I click on this, I'm given the plane of ZX to rotate around. I'm actually going to default to that right there because I am actually in the car coordinate system. So I'm just going to say yes, let's create that. And I've done some changes, sure. Let's do a little bit of a modification or a save on that modification. And we'll give Polyworks a couple seconds here to go out. Okay, now this is what I'm gonna do. I wanna name it the same, but this time I'm gonna call it the right analysis. So knuckle right, save. Okay, so here it's gonna go through a little updating, take it a second or two. There, okay. Now Polyworks went out. Now notice what I've got here is this new project is called the Knuckle Right Analysis, and this is piece one. And all of my criteria underneath here, all my features, my alignments, everything, this, um, the color map, there is no data here. And you can see that my data sets are empty up here. So as soon as I start to scan on this part and I start to hard probe my features, all of this criteria down here will start to light up. All of my, my snapshots again will come to life and my report will auto-populate. So how easy is that to do? And you can grab your, your right and left symmetric parts and you can create a nominal project based on one that worked incredibly well here on the left-hand side. 
So now just make that nominal project for the right.